Microsoft has recently improved the search functionality in Teams, so you find your stuff in the vast ecosystem that is Microsoft Teams much, much quicker. So without further ado, let me show you how it's done. Hi, my name is Gerd Kostandl. I'm an online educator and learning technologist at the University of Greenwich in London, UK. On this channel, I share tips, tutorials and how-tos to improve your digital skills for your online, hybrid and in-class teaching needs. If you want to stay in the loop, then hit that subscribe button below, turn on notifications so you avoid missing out on any future content I publish on this channel. Cheers! So I'm over here in Microsoft Teams and I'm looking for a report on our BML project and I can actually start a search for that report or the information that I require from any screen on Teams. So it doesn't matter if you're over here in activities or if you're checking in chat or if you have your Teams list open as I do right now or even if you're in the calendar, you can just go ahead and here on top of the screen, you find the search bar. Now I'm typing in BML because that's what I'm looking for and hit the enter key. And now you already see that there is a difference to the previous search experience you had in Microsoft Teams. Before, you had basically everything crammed into one page. It didn't matter where it came from, if it was from a chat, if it was from a post, if it was in the files. But now this has been much improved by Microsoft. So if we go ahead and look at what we have here in search results, yes, here on top you have messages and uh, these messages that highlight BML is what I'm looking for. And these are the top results right there. I could actually go ahead and uh, select the latest results. I could also go ahead and look down here and here you have a couple of files, also the top results. Down here you find more files. If there are people, so basically your colleagues, co-workers or maybe students if you're teaching at a university uh, and they have BML in their name, then these might also be highlighted down here. Well, in that case, no one by the name of BML was found. I could also focus on messages straight away. So you could go up here on messages, so click on that. So you have the top results again up here, but they are exclusively now from messages. And messages comprise everything from chat and posts in your Teams channels. And below I have all results. And you can see there is already indicated as a next, so there might be more than I'm actually willing to go through. Well, I don't have to go through everything because right up here I have a range of filters that I can apply. So for example, if I go here on type, I can select whether the messages are from chat. You might remember that something has been mentioned in a chat rather than a post in the channel. So you can select chat and then not just messages from the chat are being shown. If I want to lift the filter again, I just click on the X. I could also go ahead and uh, select a specific team or channel. So for that, I can start typing a name. So I can type in, for example, BML and see what comes up. So one of the channels is popping up. I select this and then I can see that here from messages from that channel, there was only one hit. This might not be what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and lift this again. If I remember who sent a message or who posted something that I'm after, then I can go for that too and select myself. So only messages from me in chat are being shown here. That includes replies and that includes uh, original messages. If I remember that, for instance, there was a meeting yesterday or in the last week and there was a file being sent and a report that I'm looking for, then I can just go ahead and select date either today, yesterday, this week, this month, or I can even select the date range. We had a meeting sometime between the 1st of February and the 8th of February, I can apply that and see what's coming up. Oh, I seem to have been wrong. No results are coming up. Okay, so I'm just going to lift the filter again. If I'm after messages that mention me, as you know, in Teams, you can mention somebody by tagging them with an at and then their name. I can go ahead and look for those. Well, there was seemed to have been one such message that mentions me by name, but that has been quite some time ago. It's not what I'm looking for, so I can just lift that again as well. 
If I'm really after attachments to messages, then I can select that too. Here it says has attachment. I click on that. And you see that I can go directly to posts, to messages, or to chat messages that have an uh, attachment to them. Should your institution have chatbots active or apps that can post on somebody's behalf, yeah, then you can hide those. Yeah, if you're only looking for messages by human beings, you can click on that, and these are also being filtered out. Of course, these filters can stack, so I can actually go ahead and say, all right, I'm looking for messages in the channel, and I'm only looking for messages by me. You can see that this stacks and one message is popping up. It does not appear to have an attachment. I can check. Well, there is no search result, so this is not the report I'm looking for. But you can see that this is working just like in Excel, where you can have several filters on a table, and then you can basically stack these, these filters. You can have several filters working on one set of data. And here it's pretty much the same thing. I can go here at the end, clear all. Yeah, this clear all only appears once you have filters actually set. So if you want to go for people directly, we know from earlier, from our all search result page, that there was no person that is called BML, or I can actually go straight ahead to files, and in here only files are being shown. So let's say my report is on an Excel spreadsheet. I have here a range of files, so I can go ahead and say, all right, this is in a specific team. I can select that. And I say, I only want to see Excel files. So I click here on file type, and then I can select Excel or images, also loop, OneNote, PDF, PowerPoint, text file, or Word. Your institution might have additional file types active depending on apps that are active within Microsoft Teams. But I'm selecting Excel. You can see that it filtered down to two hits, and then I can actually check if it has been modified by a specific person. So in this case, I can go ahead and select my Steam colleague Aaron. You can see one hit is coming up, and then I can select to open this file by click Open File right here, or I can go ahead and click on the file itself, and then it opens in Microsoft Teams. So now I'm back here on my initial search result page, and I want to see more of the conversation that these initial search results are in. Once I hover my mouse pointer over a specific search result, a down arrow appears below that search result. And if I click on that, it gives me a preview of the conversation that this search result is placed in. So you can see that this initial search result is highlighted, and I can actually go ahead to the message yeah, by clicking here on go to message and it takes me straight to the thread within which the search result is now with this much improved search functionality within teams you should be able to find your stuff much much quicker now over to you my question of the day did you know how to use the new team search functionality have i convinced you to use the improved search functionality now let me know in the comments below. If you found that video useful, then please consider giving the video a like, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to turn on notifications so you're in the loop for future content. Thank you for watching and have a pleasant day.